Facts about LDL, the bad kind of cholesterol. LDL is considered the bad cholesterol. It carries cholesterol to your arteries where it may collect in the vessel walls and contribute to plaque formation, known as atherosclerosis. This can lead to decreased blood flow to the heart muscle, the coronary artery disease, leg muscles, or peripheral artery disease, or abrupt closure of an artery in the heart or brain leading to a heart attack or stroke. What causes high LDL cholesterol? Being overweight, lack of exercise, diabetes, kidney disease, polycystic ovary syndrome, pregnancy, and other conditions that increase levels of female hormones, underactive thyroid gland. Other factors include family history, age, biological sex, whether you're male or female, and other medical conditions such as kidney or liver disease or hypothyroidism. What are the symptoms of high LDL cholesterol? Angina, chest pain, nausea, extreme fatigue, shortness of breath, pain in the neck, jaw, upper abdomen, or back, numbness or coldness in your extremities. How to lower LDL cholesterol? Lowering your cholesterol is important. Increased cholesterol levels lead to a higher risk of heart attacks and strokes. And by adopting healthy habits such as eating a healthy, balanced diet and keeping active can also help prevent cholesterol levels from becoming high in the first place. The best place to start is to eat a wide variety of plant foods. These include vegetables, fruits, legumes, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. Eating plant foods will help you get a range of nutrients, heart-healthy fats, and fiber. These all promote optimal heart health. Food to avoid if you have high cholesterol. Fast food, liver, fatty meats, canned shrimp, desserts, eggs, whipped cream, bacon, cheese, and butter, animal fats such as butter, margarines, and spreads made from animal fats like lard, suet, and dripping. Also, prawns, crab, lobster, squid, octopus, and cuttlefish. Drink alcohol only in moderation. Consuming alcohol can raise cholesterol levels because alcohol is processed through the same organ that is responsible for making cholesterol. For example, studies show that excessive drinking may increase LDL levels, which is the bad type of cholesterol. In addition, alcohol is known to raise triglyceride levels. Quit smoking. Whether you're a long-time smoker or just picked up the habit, do your heart a favor and say goodbye to tobacco. As far as your ticker is concerned, it's never too late to quit. Your body starts to heal as soon as you smoke your last cigarette. There are many reasons your heart will thank you for not lighting up. Every time you inhale cigarette smoke, your heart rate and blood pressure go up temporarily. That puts extra stress on your ticker and forces it to work harder. Over time, smoking damages you in other ways too. It clogs your arteries, increases clotting, fills your lungs with tar, thickens your blood, weakens your bones, increases inflammation, and weakens your immune system. Quit smoking now and you'll see fast results. Just 20 minutes after you stop, your blood pressure and heart rate go down. In 2-3 to three weeks, your blood flow starts to get better. Exercise on most days of the week and increase your physical activity. If your cholesterol numbers aren't where they ought to be, working out should be a key part of your healthy strategy. The right kind of workouts done regularly can raise heart-protecting HDL or good cholesterol levels and drop dangerous triglycerides levels, says Robert H. Eckel, MD, Emeritus Professor of Medicine in the Cardiology Division of the University of Colorado School of Medicine in Aurora. By losing fat and building muscle, your numbers can really improve. Which exercise is best to reduce cholesterol? Number 1. Go for a nice jog. Number 2. Take a brisk walk. Number three, bike to work or just for fun. Number four, take a few laps at the pool. Number five, lift a few weights. Number six, strike a few yoga poses. Lose weight. When we lose weight, our fat stores shrink. The fat and cholesterol normally stored in fatty tissues have nowhere to go but the bloodstream, causing a rise in cholesterol. This effect is not permanent and cholesterol levels will drop as your weight stabilizes. Cholesterol Medications for Lowering High Cholesterol Sometimes healthy lifestyle changes are not enough to lower cholesterol levels. If your doctor recommends medication to help lower your cholesterol, take it as prescribed while continuing your lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes can help you keep your medication dose low. What happens to your cholesterol when you go on a keto diet? 
People who follow the ketogenic diet or keto diet eat high amounts of fat, moderate amounts of protein, and minimal amounts of carbohydrates. Same evidence suggests that following this diet can affect cholesterol levels. Some studies suggest that the keto diet can lower levels of high-density lipoprotein or HDL or good cholesterol but raise levels of low-density lipoprotein or LDL or bad cholesterol. For this reason, the keto diet may not be appropriate for everyone. The Vegan Diet In 2017, researchers reviewed 49 studies that compared plant-based diets with omnivorous diets to test their effectiveness on cholesterol. Plant-based diets lowered total cholesterol, LDL, and HDL levels when compared to omnivorous diets. Low-fat plant-based regimens typically reduce LDL levels by about 15 to 30 percent. Cholesterol Levels for Adults Total cholesterol levels less than 200 mg per deciliter or MGDL are considered desirable for adults. A reading between 200 and 239 MGDL is considered borderline high, and a reading of 240 MGDL and above is considered high. Cholesterol levels for children. Total cholesterol level is less than 170 MGDL. LDL less than 100 MGDL. Does chocolate cause high cholesterol? Your hand and your mouth agreed many years ago that as far as chocolate is concerned, there is no need to involve your brain. The type of chocolate you consume matters when it comes to eating chocolate for good health because it's the properties of the cocoa that offer the health benefits. Cocoa powder and dark chocolate may favorably affect cardiovascular disease risk status by modestly reducing LDL oxidation susceptibility, increasing serum total antioxidant capacity and HDL cholesterol concentrations, and not adversely affecting prostaglandins. Dark chocolate, because it contains more cocoa than other palatable chocolate products, has higher amounts of flavonoids and thus is more likely to exact a protective effect against heart disease. To make the most of adding chocolate to your diet to lower your cholesterol, choose products with a high cocoa content that have the least amount of processing, which lowers the flavonoid content. Cheese if antiquity can be the only test of nobility, then cheese is a very noble thing. The lineage of cheese is demonstrably beyond all record. Cheese is a great source of protein and calcium, but is often high in saturated fat and salt. This means eating too much could lead to high cholesterol and high blood pressure, increasing your risk for cardiovascular disease or CVD. What cheese is lower in cholesterol? The cheeses with the lowest amounts of cholesterol are made with low-fat or fat-free milk. Low-cholesterol cheeses include Part skim mozzarella cheese, which is 18 mg cholesterol per ounce Low-fat 1% cottage cheese, 1 mg cholesterol per ounce or 8 mg per cup Low-fat cheddar or Kobe cheese, which is 6 mg cholesterol per ounce And fat-free cream cheese, which is 1 mg cholesterol per tablespoon what cheese is higher in cholesterol? High fat, total fat more than 17.5 grams per 100 grams, is mascarpone, with 44 total grams of fat per 100 grams and 29 saturated fat grams per 100 gram, Stilton, with 35 total grams of fat per 100 grams and 23 saturated fat grams per 100 gram, Cheddar or Red Leicester, which is 35 total grams of fat per 100 grams and 22 saturated fat grams per 100 grams. Parmesan, which is 30 total grams of fat per 100 gram and 19 saturated fat grams per 100 grams. And Brie, which is 29 total grams of fat per 100 gram and 18 saturated fat grams per 100 gram. What does cholesterol do for the skin? If you see yellowish-orange growths on your skin, you may have deposits of cholesterol under your skin. These painless deposits can appear in many areas, including the corners of your eyes, lines of your palms, or on the backs of your lower legs. If you notice these growths on any area of your skin, see your doctor. Can having high cholesterol levels have an effect on your eye and vision health? Cholesterol can deposit around the eyes to form fatty, yellowish lumps. Though they are usually harmless, these deposits sometimes signal a serious underlying condition. Natural fats, including cholesterol, can form growths around the eyelids. One of these growths is called azanthelasma. Lowering your cholesterol may improve your sex life. In men, high cholesterol can damage sexual performance and decrease libido. 
high cholesterol, and erectile dysfunction are two linked health conditions. Erectile dysfunction is the earliest symptom of high cholesterol in men. In women, the fatty deposits from high cholesterol may impact lubrication, causing painful intercourse and a lowered libido, says Crickman, who also is director of sexual medicine at Hogg Memorial Hospital. Men and women who believe high cholesterol may be affecting their sex lives should consult a physician to rule out other causes, Critchman said. Once cholesterol is determined to be the problem, doctors usually advise patients to seek dictory and lifestyle changes, such as eliminating saturated fat found in fatty meats and eggs from the diet, quitting smoking, and increasing exercise. Can high cholesterol cause death? From 1951 to 1955, serum cholesterol levels were measured in 1,959 men and 2,415 women aged between 31 to 65 years who were free of cardiovascular disease, CVD, and cancer. Under age 50 years, cholesterol levels are directly related with 30-year overall and CVD mortality. Overall death increases 5% and CVD death 9% for each 10 mgdl. After 50 years, there is no increased overall mortality with either high or low serum cholesterol levels. There is a direct association between falling cholesterol levels over the first 14 years and mortality over the following 18 years. 11% overall and 14% CVD death rate increase per 1 mg per dl per year drop in cholesterol levels. Under age 50 years, these data suggest that having a very low cholesterol level improves longevity. After age 50 years, the association of mortality with cholesterol values is confounded by people whose cholesterol levels are falling, perhaps due to diseases predisposing to death. How can I check my cholesterol at home? The standard cholesterol home test kit contains a lancet for drawing blood and test strips. To use a cholesterol home test kit, you first prick your finger with a lancet. Next, you place the blood droplet onto the test strip. The cholesterol level test strip has special chemicals that change colors after a few minutes. What does cholesterol do to learning memory? Studies find low HDL or high LDL raises memory loss risk. The study published in July of 2008 in Ardiosclerosis, Thrombosis, and Vascular Biology, Journal of the American Heart Association, found that by the age of 60, men and women with low levels of HDL were 53% more likely to have memory loss than those with higher levels. The use of statin drugs to raise HDL levels or to lower levels of LDL, the bad cholesterol, was not found to have any association with memory loss in the study. And this isn't the first time researchers have found a link between cholesterol and memory problems. A study in 2002 published in the Archives of Neurology found that women with high levels of LDL had increased degrees of cognitive impairment, including memory loss. Four years later, study subjects who lowered their LDL levels also lowered their chances of suffering from cognitive impairment. In 2004, a study from the Netherlands found that a diet high in cholesterol and saturated fat was linked to increased risk of cognitive decline among middle-aged study subjects. That study, published in the journal Neurology, also concluded that consumption of fish and fish oil was associated with a lower risk of cognitive decline. The reputation of fish as brain food appears to be intact. Last but not the least, doctors know best. Your best treatment option for high cholesterol depends on many factors. Before your doctor recommends a prescription medication, they will look at several things, including your family medical history, your risk for heart disease, and your lifestyle. Many doctors prefer to start with changes to diet and exercise. If those changes don't have enough effect, you might start taking medication to help the process along. Statins are one commonly prescribed medication for controlling cholesterol, but these drugs might not be right for everyone. There are several treatment options for high cholesterol, including other medications and lifestyle changes.